Hello, yarny friends. It's Elaine from Penguin Place. It's Friday. Yes, I am so excited to have a weekend at home where I can catch up on crafts, where I can stay in my pajamas till noon, and I will have to do laundry and a few other things. But it's Friday. It's okay. So I want to fill you in on my exciting weekend plans. That means telling you the three works in progress that I've got going right now and um, a few other little things I'll be working on. So one I've shown you before. It's the hat with Bernat Softy Chunky and I may have done like one row since the last time I showed it to you. I really need to work like work on this for 15 minutes, work on something else for 15 minutes, but eh. I'm easily distracted. Another work in progress that I just started this week was a free pattern that I saw on Instagram from Little Crochet Farm and it is Lady Liberty. It's a little Statue of Liberty doll and the detail on this thing is incredible. That's why I wanted to make it. Doesn't look much like Lady Liberty yet, does it? She needs her arm, her book. I've already done the little cowl that goes around um, her hair, her crown, her torch. Did I say her arms? So there's a lot of little pieces left to do, and then I get to sew her together. So it's there's a very good possibility I could finish her this weekend. Especially since they're little pieces. It's like, okay, I'm going to sit here until I finish this. It's doable. The other one. Joanna made me do it. I have seen this pattern and heard about this pattern. Um, I can't remember. I think it's Cheryl's Creations. Cheryl with an S. Um, she talked about making the Turtle Memory Game by Stitched by Sherry. Sherry Duckett. She said she made one. She posted it on Facebook. She got orders for several more. And I was like, oh, that's really cute. I want to make that. It's, it's a big mama turtle. And then you have all these little turtles. And I realized I did not bring the one little turtle I have made that fit inside the mama turtle. And each baby turtle has a little spot on the underside. Sorry, this is very noisy here. Try to keep so when you when you make the baby turtles you make two of each of that color spot so then the kid the kiddos can like pull the baby turtles out and play a matching game with them and i think this would be perfect for my grandchildren and um, my friend joanna sent me a message saying isn't this cute you should make this and i was like oh you know, you've got the one on the shoulder saying, no, 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 no. Sales have been down lately. And you've got so many patterns to work on. And you you just don't have the time to do something like that. And on the shoulder, but it's so cute. And the grandchildren will love it. And I'm sure that other people, if you put it in your Etsy shop, you know, people will buy it. So this one won. I bought the pattern she has the mat the, the turtle matching game and an octopus matching game so i got the bundle with both of them and now i'm going to be making all this fun stuff but one thing if you go to etsy and you search for turtle matching game the original creator of it is stitched by sherry sherry duckett d-u-c-k-e-t-t -T. there are a lot of people who have copied her pattern and are selling it for less. Some of them are even using her pictures, which is not cool. So as a pattern designer, I would say, please buy from the original person. Don't, don't go to the people who just copied her pattern and are selling it cheaper. Yeah. She thought it up. She took the time to write up the pattern very nicely. She should get the, the 
purchase. So, as I step down from my soapbox, let's see. I showed you one, two, three things. So that's what I'm going to be working on this weekend. I also, oh, did I show you my shirt? My shirt says, I only buy yarn when I need it for a project. Or because it's on sale, because it's pretty, or because I want it. Yep, that sums it up. I got it on Amazon. I just I just love the crochet t-shirts. They're my summer go-to wear, just to wear a crochet t-shirt. Sometimes I'll be out grocery shopping and somebody will say, oh, I like your shirt. What do you, you do, you, do you knit? And I'm, I'll tell them I knit and crochet, give them a card from my shop, show them on my phone some of the stuff I've made. I don't know if I've gotten any orders from that, but you can hope. So this weekend, I'm also going to get stuff lined up for my May project list. I do have it all made up. I did update my critter, my crazy critter challenge before I was doing it by rolling a dice. And, you know, there's only six possibilities for color, six possibilities for critters. I redid it so that I have nine possibilities for the body color, 10 possibilities for the critter, 10 possibilities for the accent color, and 10 possibilities for the accent. And then I'm doing a random number generator to pick a number between 1 and 9,999. And the random number generator picked for my next project a, pa a light green bear with a black ruffle. So that should be interesting. It's, it's fun to add more details to the list. And I also need to load up a Ziploc bag with scrap yarn because for my scrap yarn challenge this month, I'm not going to say I want to make five projects or three projects or six projects. I'm going to have a gallon size Ziploc bag and I'm going to put a whole bunch of my little bits of yarn in there, nice selection of colors and work on using it up. So, ta-da! Those are my weekend plans. What you going to do this weekend? Got any fun projects you're working on? Just let me know in the comments. I like reading the comments. And my, my channel is still small enough that when somebody comments, I can go and read it and check it out and answer them. And It's not like I'm just so overwhelmed with tons of comments that I can't handle it. So it. I did have a um, a little black rain cloud, little black rain cloud that is hovering over my Etsy shop right now. I got a copyright infringement strike this morning. I have made these little covers, little crocheted covers that fit over a cube tissue box and they have a hole in the top so you can pull the tissue out. I think I have a couple of owls and a pig. And it's one of my oldest listings because I probably made the covers five, six years ago. And um, that was before I knew about search engine optimization and copyright infringement and all this and that. Well, I used the word Kleenex in the listing. And the legal team from that company reported me to Etsy. I have removed the word from the listing and I replied to the email that they provided for the legal team saying, I am sorry, it was unintentional. I made the listing years ago before I knew about copyright infringement stuff. I have removed it. Would you please withdraw your, your, um, your complaint against me. And so far I have not heard back from them. I have not heard back from Etsy saying that the, um, they said that they're putting a hold on my funds. So 
hopefully all this will get straightened out. Like, it just seems so petty, but, you know, it is, it is copyright infringement. They have sole right to the use of that, that their name, and I should not have put it in there. I just wasn't aware of things like that years ago when I put the listing up and all the times that I've renewed it since then I just never noticed it so I have corrected it I now know the error of my ways and I will no longer use their name to describe a box of tissues so we'll see hopefully this isn't going to have any negative repercussions for my shop for, for Etsy um, just you know, when something like that happens, it sort of puts a little black rain cloud over your day. So I'm going to go get in some yarn therapy and then make one of our favorite dinners, um, baked chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy and roast Brussels sprouts. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, ew, Brussels sprouts. I didn't used to like them. But I roast them with garlic salt, and I roast mine until they are nice and crispy and brown. After mine have been in the oven for about half an hour, then I put in a separate pan of the same Brussels sprouts for my husband because he wants his to be not crispy. So that's what's on the menu for tonight. And I'm going to go get some yarn therapy. And it just flashed across my screen that one of my daughters sent a Facebook message and I need to go see what's going on. So, bye-bye.